Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. On today's episode of Geek Beat, Cooking with Lava. Robots that see through walls. Dancing tanks. Verizon throttles customers. And Justin TV is no more, but it still all begins now. <laughs> Indeed. Well, technically, we were back last week. All right. But that was kind of a special edition. <laughs> it was the Geek House grand opening. We had a great time. You guys were awesome for making it out here and joining us for six hours of live stream. Yes, thank you, everybody, and for, I, yes. for showing up both in person and digitally. Uh, it was it time. was a wonderful time. I lost my voice. You I don't did. know what is going on with me. I just got my voice back today. Yeah, really. Yesterday, yesterday you today, still yes. sounded kind of like a frog. Right, I did. So um, thank God I I feel better. Uh, although I think you know, as a whole team, we're all kind of groggy still. Like this entire week, we've all been kind of like uh, like zombies. Well, yeah, because everybody just about killed themselves right. trying to get ready for that thing, and uh, you know. But you know what? We made it work. We, it was awesome, and it's over, unfortunately. I kind of feel sad that it's all over. I don't. I don't but, feel sad. Um, <laughs> Not even a little bit. But now we've come back. It is our first real episode here on the new Geek Beat set. That's so right. very excited to, to be here with you guys joining us. And we've come out swinging with new products. We have. We do. We have. We have the new. Should I play Vanna White? Geek Beat mugs. Yes, how awesome are these? I've been using them all week. So here's the thing, folks. You guys asked for it. We we uh, we have the new t-shirts. I'm, I'm wearing my Western yeah. wear kind of t-shirt here. The new I should Geek be wearing Beat mine. Western oh well. t-shirt. I have worn nothing but Geek Me t-shirts for like weeks. I know. But uh, I've been giving them a good try. We have made some adjustments to this design. We this have? is a prototype. Mm -hmm. the, the ones that are actually going to be shipping to people who've pre-ordered them are actually going to be a little better than this. Yes. But the point being, we had these t-shirts, and people keep asking us, when are we going to be able to get a Geek Beat mug? Yes, well, a while back ago, um, like, we had a whole Twitter storm of people asking for mugs. Yeah. Um, they wanted hats and mugs and all sorts of stuff, so we See, got we you mugs. Um, and they, I love these things, because look at how awesome they are. They have an orange inside, the uh, Geek beet orange on, on the handle and the Geek Beat logo right there. So what I like about the orange inside is that it's not white, because I have a white mug and it stains very easily. Does it stain from coffee and stuff? Right, so that you don't have to worry about. Well, here's what I like about these mugs. These are ginormous They are mugs. huge. These are like 14 ounce mugs, I think. So yeah. these are not your little wussy uh, mugs. I not mean, at this all. Whole, I mean, to give you an example, this is uh, this little water bottle I have here is an eight ounce water bottle, and you can see <laughs> the whole thing like totally nice. disappears. You could put basically two of these water bottles in here. So, and it's a ginormous mug. We have awesome Geek House logo uh, coasters That's to right. put your mug on. So, Get your mug on. Yeah, I, I've been using these on my desk as well. So, a Geek Beat mug with a Geek House logo. Um, uh, coaster. Now they are all available on our store. Usually you do that over a Bluetooth speaker. I will uh, put my water. Oh, that's in all the not even halfway full. I know it's like halfway, <laughs> halfway full. So gbtv slash shop. Nice yes! score. He actually they didn't made even it. See it, but I, I know. got it. He made it in the trash can. Of course, it's like this huge 55-gallon trash can. So yeah, but it's way over hard there. To uh, I could do that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, I feel those are available. Like, uh, I feel kind of like David Letterman or... Right, you know, yeah, you feel like... official, like a, an official host. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you guys can get these right now if you want. Geekbeat.tv slash shop. Just click this. That's right. You could be right the here. first. Uh, there you go. <laughs> and one thing that I would like to emphasize, uh, these mugs and these coasters, these are not pre-orders. No, they're we available now. We have received now. them all. We have them all in stock. So if you order them, they will ship like 
fast. Well, yeah, don't get, don't like promise them something fast. we can't deliver. Not but this fast. weekend because we're going to be out of town. Right. But like by early next week, they will be shipping. You will get one probably next week. That's awesome. If you buy one now, you get one then. Exactly. And if um, we also have just launched a giveaway. Yeah. By the way, has anybody seen my my headphones? Because I was looking for my kefs. And uh, yeah, that, I, I can't find my headphones That's anywhere. what we're giving away, John. What? So You're giving away my headphones? David went into your office earlier, and they were just sitting there, and we needed something to do a contest with. Like, the guys want something to win. Those are $300 headphones. That's all right. They're, they're going to one of you. So uh, David Foster went in, took over, and uh, took your headphones, and now we're giving them away. Actually, we're kidding. You get a brand <laughs> new pair. You don't get my old used no. pair. You get a brand new unopened box of Kef headphones. But how do they get them? How they, do they get them? go to geekbeat.tv slash Kef giveaway. <laughs> Kef <laughs> giveaway? Yes. Geekbeat.tv forward slash Kef giveaway. And here's the cool thing. So you get multiple entries for doing different things. So just follow the rules on the contest page and go enter, and it's awesome. I can't wait to give those away because they're fantastic headphones. They are truly amazing headphones. And I'll tell you what else we just recently learned, and What's we're that? way over time. I know. So, uh, Carter Carter's, back there Carter's is like, like come on, wrap it, like it up. Like He's about to pull out your katana. I know, he is. Uh, <laughs> but I also learned that if you go to HD Tracks. Dot com. Yes. You can buy and download uncompressed audio, which if you listen to it with any other speakers or headphones, well, let's put it this way. When you listen to it with the Kefs, you will understand. Nice. You will understand why they're so awesome. Awesome. So, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come right back. And, and get we're into get news. on into it. But go to gibby.tv slash live 143 when you need to know 153, one, what? I can't read that, Dave. One, 143, I was right the first time. 143. <laughs> For all the links and videos that we should talk about today. All right. We'll be right back. Be right back. You got that volume up really high for the intro, Davey Casper Bay. just bought two cups. When do really? we ship to Denmark? Uh, oh, wow. So I, I'm sure we'll be shipping like early next week. So yeah. um, just hang tight. Thank you. Yeah, we, we, uh, we. This is an experiment too. Because uh, Burroughs Tech, they are available right now at geekbeat.tv slash shop. Yeah, they're and there. we have like a pack. What's our pack? Is David, pa come on in. I yeah, I think you can get. Can't you get a coaster and, and mug pack? Yes, you can get four coasters and a cup. Four is that coasters like and one mug for twenty nine ninety seven. Oh, Oh, twenty nine ninety seven. Four coasters and a mug, and a mug. for twenty nine ninety seven. Why twenty nine ninety seven? Because research shows that the seven <laughs> is a magic number. Oh. I changed my prices from fifteen ninety five to ninety seven. So you raised the prices and people bought no. more. Yeah. Well, yes. You raised the prices by two cents and people bought more. Wow. That's it. I did a lot of research on the seven. So. Huh. Look into our <laughs> eyes. <laughs> wow. The price is twenty nine ninety seven. Ben wants four mugs and one coaster. Yeah, how do you get four mugs? John and one already coaster? bought some if cups and those coasters. Mugs, we could probably throw in a coaster. You buy four mugs, <laughs> I will throw in a coaster. I will personally pack a coaster for you, okay? <laughs> So yeah. Very cool. So David uh, made sure that was all set up on the website, so if there are any bugs, blame him. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. You like how I threw that you under the bus there? That was like, it sounded like it was going to be a thank know, you I compliment. Was, I started to walk out feeling confident. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It turned into an insult. You, you hurt my like elbow story, early, right? so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, David. Never beat the boss. <laughs> Never beat the boss. Welcome back, folks. And welcome to all of you who are joining us on the Justin TV stream. Oh, no. Oops. No, sorry. You're no. all gone. You're nobody's there because wow. Justin TV unexpectedly and without notice shut down completely. Just gone. So if you don't know, Justin TV was like one of the, was the original stream, live streaming site. It was. We've been, we've been partners with them for years yes. and years. In fact... We've had things where we've done exclusive streaming through right. Justin, uh, big events, you know, yeah. millions and millions and millions of views through Justin TV, and even we didn't know this was coming. Right. We just, they made an announcement, they turned off their website one day, no pre-announcement, no heads yeah. up for anyone, bam, it's gone. 
It's, it's, it's kind of sad, you know. I mean, we hate to lose a partner like that. Yeah. But um, a couple of years ago, a year and a half or so, they opened Twitch, which was a side business for them, a, a different streaming site, but all to a game. It was all you know, focused on gamers and gaming content. Um, and they did really, really well with that. Mm -hmm. I have to say they did a fantastic job. It went crazy. It's very popular, and they've done an amazing job with it. So... The rumor is, is that Google is buying Twitch, uh, For like essentially. like a billion dollars. That's like that. A billion. That's like that. No, you do it like this. That's like that. It's down. Like, it's I do it like, like that, so. Well, you do it like this, it's like, call me. <laughs> but if you do it like this, it's like a billion. <laughs> anyway, so that's the rumor. We'll see if that actually proves to be true. But uh, Justin is gone, so you guys can now watch us either on YouTube. Uh, the or you, YouTube, YouTube, or on YouTube television, right? or you on stream. You stream. So uh, all the use. All use. Wow, lies. we've got a lot of. Yeah. Y y anyway, you know you, you know what we're talking about. You know, it's a good thing that we always stream through three different providers. Why? Because we did. I said it was a good thing because we always stream through multiple providers. Because sometimes you guys would tell us, "Well, we're having problems with so and so today, but yep. the other one's yeah, working yeah. well." And you kind of switch back and forth a right. little bit. But uh, I guess it was a good thing we were doing that because we lost one entirely forever and Indeed. we still have the others. We still have the others. We're still settled. Now, what isn't settled is uh, the FCC Verizon? chairman, Tom Wheeler. He is not very settled no, he is at not. all. He is very upset at Verizon because they announced that they are going to be throttling their unlimited customers, data, their unlimited data customers. Yeah, I didn't even know any of them were left. I didn't either. I We're mean, definitely not unlimited. We well, are like, those people were grandfathered in for I like know. years ago. Yeah. And then uh, they said, you know what? Uh, we're going to start throttling you guys. And of course, all the customers went nuts. But right. then on top of that, when the chairman of the FCC comes out and goes, you know what? That's just not right. And I don't even think it's legal. Uh, and and, and uh, well, the reason the, the CEO, the, the Verizon CEO, Dan Mead, said he was surprised. Oh, oh he was surprised right. by the FCC's letter. Really? He was surprised. Well, because AT&T does the same thing, but it's based on different rules. Like they have, so the LTE frequency is different on, you know, for Verizon than what the, the channel essentially that AT&T uses. Here's the deal. Those frequencies are owned by the American people. Correct. They are loaned out to these companies to operate their business, and there were rules. There are rules associated with taking those frequencies and operating them. Yeah. And this violates the rule, according to the FCC chairman. Right. So, I mean, <laughs> Verizon's now going to give their opinion that they don't think it's... Guess what? The FCC chairman says it's illegal. Back off. That's it. That's all you do. You just go back and you go, oops, my bad. We won't do that. Right. And let it go. Okay? But no, now they're going to fight and everything else because I guess Dan didn't get a big enough bonus this year or something. Probably he's only making like 17 or $25 million this year. Yeah, so, it's a little uh, smaller to, than my bonus. Anyway. But, you know. <laughs> enough of that. It is gadget time. It is. But uh, are we going to go to commercial break? Yeah, was that today? was very short. That's because we have a lot of unboxing. That is true. We're so going to fill news time. We're going to defer some of it to for unboxing time. Because we've been saving them up for you guys. So we'll be right back. What, do we have a fame spot of the day? Uh, Sure we do. Sure, what is it? Um, Would you like a geek house? No. <laughs> um, um, John, uh, you're usually quicker on your feet here. I, I am. I, I got nothing. I got not You tell us, what should our next fame spot be? That's what the fame spot of the day is. <laughs> fame spot of the day is, what should our next fame spot be? Geekbeat.tv slash fame spot. Leave us a 15 second message. Bye. John, John, talk. I said it last time. You're talk supposed to, to say the, it this time. But then I ended it, and you're supposed to bring us oh, back. Oh, hey, guys. Welcome back to Hi. Beat Live. The <laughs> not-so-professional to the disaster. technology-like news show. Can we rename our motto to the disastrous show? The disastrous show? We could. 
I don't know. People would probably know. agree with it. It would be truth in advertising. That's right. That's all I'm trying to accomplish here. You know, that's why everybody watches. It's like it's like a train wreck. You just can't take your eyes off of right. it, right? So, well, uh, welcome way, back. Uh, we forgot to mention something. We did. Because there are patrons who are watching. <gasps> yes. And uh, we were talking about the mugs and things like and mugs and coasters, but what we forgot to mention was. Where's our Hutu? If you are a patron at the $25 level, or I'm sorry, $50, $50 level, level or above, you are about to get your care package, Yay! which comes periodically. David? And it is going to include, you're going to get the mug, you're going to get the coaster, and you're going to get some other stuff. Which they um, didn't put out here, or is that it right it there? Huh? Is what it where? Did they put it oh, out here? Oh, yeah, I think that's I think it, it right is. there. We, we also have a really cool so if you yeah yeah if you are at the fifty dollar or a hundred dollar level or up you don't have to buy any um and well, you unless you want, want more unless you, might you want, want extras more, and so. that's cool but you're also uh, there's other things coming but this is one of the other things that's coming a hutu trip take it out of the plastic nano and i'm not taking it out of the box though. no just out of the plastic, the plastic. you see this tiny little box you see, like, compared to the mug, it is much tinier than the mug. And the box has actually got a lot of spare room. Yes. You're not going to believe how small it is. This is a tiny, tiny uh, router. It is a Wi-Fi router that you can use when you're traveling yeah. to create hotspots and stuff. That thing is awesome. So we've got a huge box of them here. So your um, care package is, is, right. is coming to you very soon. And T-shirts and mugs yes. and... Coasters, coasters and, and stickers and stickers all sorts of things and stuff so and thank you guys for becoming patrons yes. we love you each and every one of you yes. at all levels geeky.tv slash patrons if you want to get some goodies yourself that is true okay on to the gadget now is it gadget time it is all and right I, i'm very i'm feeling deja vu right about now oh, with are? the gadget story because it's more because it's happened before yeah because we said this we said this we, exact same story said once before exactly and so, i I'm, I'm a little confused John. some of you may remember back in time a little bit uh you would have a phone with one carrier and you'd want to go leave to go to another carrier and they'd say ah oh, no i know that you have an iphone and you own it and you paid for it right but no, you can't take it from our network to the other network. And finally, the government stepped in and said, oh, yes, they can. Right. Well, when they said that, the, the override of whatever it was, the little law, was kind of a temporary one. Uh -huh. And it expired. Yeah. And so then it became illegal again. And now they've said, it's legal again. Yeah. So congratulations. You can take your phone anywhere you want because you own it. And... <laughs> That's the story. And because you could do it before, <laughs> and now you can keep doing it. So anyway, so, yeah. So awkward. Yeah. Awkward. Uh, what's also <laughs> not awkward. That, no, that wasn't a good segue, Yeah, John. what's also not awkward. <laughs> that was an awkward segue, John. Is that uh, <laughs> some guys over at UC Berkeley and MIT, led by Dr. Fu Chung Huang, Huang. H U A N G. I need to learn how to say that last I name. Think it's that's pretty wrong. common. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly. Okay. Anywho, they have invented a monitor that is a vision correcting monitor. I they, so this somebody is really like very me who has to wear glasses, you could take off your glasses and the monitor somehow basically sees your eyeball. I don't know. It what understands it do. well, it understands your prescription. So it, it's basically got a prescription in it, like your glasses prescription it would have that in its screen so then when you look at it you see the actual uh you see the video like it should be it's when, like the opposite like you were blur of what it would be in your eyeball yeah button. exactly so it's it's correcting stuff and it also has the ability to correct things that you cannot fix with glasses. Like, so for instance, you know, sti like heavy stigmatism. I, have, I or, have nothing but astigmatism. Right. That's all I have and it's wretchedly bad. And there are certain things that those glasses can't be fixed. So this screen supposedly will be able to do things like that. The awkward thing I think it'll be is like, cause you have a screen, right? But mm -hmm. only you'll be able to look at it. I you love can't, that. 
Because I like people would come over and they'd be like trying to read my right. screen and be like, I can't read that. I'd so be like, for, what are you talking about? It's perfectly so, clear. I don't for, even know what you're talking about. For privacy, okay? it's great. But you can't be like, oh, hey, look at this awesome video. Oh, this I is would. awesome. I would. I'd be like, check this <laughs> out. This is awesome. It's Spose. I'm awesome. Right. Watch this. And people would be standing there going, this is not awesome. And I'd be like, yeah, it's awesome. Look how awesome it is. I'd be like, it's not awesome. <laughs> and, and I think that would be awesome, yeah. quite frankly. I think what else is awesome is coffee in the morning. Yeah, I'm uh, not a big coffee drinker. I love coffee. In fact, I'm not a coffee drinker at all. Have you seen my coffee drawer in the kitchen here at the Geek House? Truly ridiculous. And it's funny that she would say, have you seen my coffee drawer? Right. Because she has more than one. She's got like a coffee cabinet. She's got a coffee drawer. She's got like coffee stashed in her office. Well, coffeebeingdirect.com sent me all this coffee. And so we've had a stash of it and it's taken a while to get through and Let's it's all face awesome. It, even if coffeebeingdirect.com had not sent it to you, you'd still have it everywhere. That is true. And I have a tea drawer as well. Oh the, yeah, we didn't even talk about tees. the tea drawer yet. Right. Anyway, so <laughs> what if beside your bed, when your alarm goes off in the morning, you had a very nice coffee cup, a, a nice cup of coffee already prepared for you. And the coffee and the cream and the sugar is all beside your bed, red tea to go. So this is a you haven't even brushed your teeth yet coffee alarm clock. Coffee? Why would you brush your teeth before you drink coffee? Because then you have to brush your teeth again. I'm just asking. I, just don't brush your teeth yeah, ever. Yeah, I don't know. Because you're going to drink more coffee, never mind. Yeah. It's designed by Josh Renoff in the UK. And uh, so it'll heat coffee through the ball bearings. And then it has storage ball space. Bearings. It heats coffee through ball bearings. Ball bearings, yes. Isn't that interesting? What does it do? Like roll them around so fast they create friction and heat I, it up? I think so. I haven't seen a video of it in action because it's still in the uh, the processing stage in the development stage but look at that so it'll have a little like a little heated cup of coffee and do we have a picture of like the cream and sugar no. oh, okay well in the drawers you have storage for your cream and sugar and everything so you can just bloop 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 bloop, bloop and sip how very british i know it's awesome in the coffee in the alarm clock yeah. in the alarm clock coffee maker yeah it's chilled yeah, this is a horrible idea. It sell, it'll sell for 250 to 420 bucks. That made an even worse idea. <laughs> uh, that's about all. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> if you, I, I just don't want it because I don't drink coffee, like ever. I never, ever drink coffee. Now, if that was a Coke brewing machine, I would want it right beside my bed. Or an icy. Oh, if it Maker. was a slurpy machine? Right, but right when you wake up. Oh my God, I want one in my shower so that I can be like, shower, shower, <laughs> shower, shower. Is that, that how you great. shower? Yeah, like that's cleaning my arm, uh -huh. under my arms. Okay. And then <laughs> pouring it into my mouth. Slurpy into my mouth. Is the, is the slurpy made out of the shower water? No, it is not Thank recycled God. shower water. You know, I'm going to take a quick break. No, we're not. We're we not. We have oh. to, now that we've had coffee, we have to grill some steaks now. Yeah, and I'm not sure about this whole steak grilling process. I, uh, I think it's brilliant. I bought a new grill. It seems to me to work a little better than this, but 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 who am I? <laughs> I don't know. Brill British culinary artist Bompus and Parr uh, attended well, a cookout at Syracuse University where they decided they would uh, fire up the old lava flow. Why not? And throw some Steaks on the Barbie. So they, they created... Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, so this is like, what is that, ice or dry ice surrounding uh, it's it? It's liquid oh hot God, magma. Good. Well, no, I see the, the, the lava, but uh, surrounding it. I don't even care. That's 2100 degrees liquid hot See, those steaks are they, right on top. They got corn on there. And at one point, they, they lost the corn at one point. They dropped a chunk of corn in, disintegrated. Yeah, it just disintegrates. And then, uh, I mean, at one point the steak was like literally on fire. So I'm, I'm not going to guess that it's the best steak you've ever had cooked in your life, but hey. Just a, just a little, if you like that slightly charred, burnt, charred car, charcoal uh, exterior and, and a charcoal interior, if that's the way you like your steak, then yeah, it's hey, quite delicious. Go for it. Yeah. Anyway, so if you have feel the need this weekend to get out the lava machine, 
Go for it. It's just be safe. I, I do want I do want a lava machine. Yeah. Can I get a lava machine? Uh, I will look into it for you. Okay. Uh, we are going to now take a quick break. And, and when we come back, unboxing. Oh, really? Yes. That's exciting. But, you know, we don't have our fame spot for the day, so you gotta leave tell us, us a fame spot to suggest some more fame spots that we should be having you guys tell us what you fame want spotted. to tell us. Yes. Just go Can to we make Hey, guys. Welcome back to... Welcome back. Uh, uh, hi. So first, we're neither of us are going to do it. Then we're both going to do it, right? <sighs> we should probably figure this out. We might like, need to practice. We yeah. have a lot of practice. No. But it's unboxing time, so who really cares? It doesn't matter. Let's get some unboxing. And we have the lovely and talented Gigi. Miss Gigi is going Curly, to be yes. handing over the boxes. I shall get the chair out of the way. Nice. And uh, <laughs> what do we got, Gigi? Oh, nice. How about the whole thing? This is kind thing. of a set. Let's a set. get all three of these right here together. That, there that. There we go. This is not this. as much of an unboxing out of a box. What, do you already unbox the unboxing? Well, I did because, you know, we, we get a lot of boxes from Amazon, and I was just ripping into boxes, and the, these were in the boxes. So. All right. Well, but what you do know we what have? These are? Yes, what? Uh, from our friends over at Hinge Docs. That's right. So, um, the the point of these particular products are to have, be able to mount your iOS type things. You got in trouble, John. I did get in trouble. I had my I had my water in the way. Uh, but so if you have an Apple, after actually, will this work with anything? I guess it's a, that is a that is specifically for MacBook Air. For the MacBook Air, 13 inch. That's right, the 13 inch MacBook Air. And what's cool, I already I already set one up. Yeah. I set it up out there. We had two of them. Can so you see sorry, here sue me. I cheated. But yeah, you can see that. I don't know if we can see inside, but we have. Yeah, if you look really close, right here. So for power and. Um, Mr. Curly, hit that cur close up on us uh, right there. Yep. You can see down in there. What happens is it plugs into the USB and Thunderbolt ports, and then on the side, you get a USB and Thunderbolt port. Yes. Well, it's actually a mini display port. Well, so then Not this allows you mini display. to just, oh, right, mini, dis uh, it's mini, it mini display. It's mini display. It's mini display. I verified that. Okay. And uh, so basically, you have your monitor. You, go, you can get a cable, a mini display to HDMI cable. They're like less than 10 bucks on, uh, on Amazon. Yeah. And so you put your, your thing in your here. Your MacBook here. You put your monitor out to there yep. and the USB could go to like a little hub where you have a mouse and a keyboard and speakers and all kinds of stuff. That and way you just you drop in, just it in it, and it's one, you don't have to you like have go to through the all power. the connections just the every power. time. Right. It Very makes it cool. a lot easier. And then this other one, this is the Gravitas. This is pretty cool. It's this heavy, feel how heavy this is. Oh! Right. It's a really solid. Yeah, that is solid. I mean solid. That is awesome. Okay. Wow. That's shaking and the table. That is for an iPhone, or you can put a whole iPad on it. It's got different little sleeves that go yep. in here, so you can uh, put different de iOS devices, and it'll hold anything Ooh. up on the back, connects with USB. Awesome. Et cetera. So that's pretty darn cool. Very cool. All right, what What's else? Next? What do we have next? Ah, next we have a package. Oh, I think I know what this is. What? I believe Jenny. Oh, created a little something for us. If I'm correct, this may indeed be from him. All right. Let's I see. am not a hundred percent. Let's find out. Yes, it is. Janie actually sent us an email and he told us oh, that he look was at that. working on some t-shirts for us. Well, thank it you, looks Janie. Like he sent several for wow, the crew. Wow, for the whole crew. Uh, it is a geek, geek house, house design, oh, Janie nice. original. Oh, look, Livid Lobster on the on back. back. And Geek House on the front. And the Geek House on the front. Well, thank you, Danny. Very cool. And black. And black. Actually, Mr. Curly loves black t-shirts yes, as well. Yes, he does. So we got three of these bad boys. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay, okay what's let's next? see. We need another one of the big boxes. That, that'll work. Yep. 
Okay, let's see what we got here. Here you go. All right. Bring it on. How long? How are we doing on time, Carter? Oh, uh -oh already. We got the we, oh, up already. Yay! What From have you blue got? microphones. You know, we gave a uh, we gave uh, away a lot of blue <laughs> microphone stuff, like the Spark and uh, some other stuff during the party. This is a new one, the Mikey Digital. Oh. So you plug that into your phone or um, or, or like iPod an iOS Touch device. Or, yes, and then. You have good stereo microphone. This we've and been audio. waiting for because we have. We've, we we've saw had that the, at CES. Yeah, we've we? had the previous versions of the Mikeys, which are really cool. Yeah. But this but one this has for the, the uh, uh, lighting. What's it called? Lightning. Light the lightning connector finally. So you plug that into your uh, into your iOS device, and bingo bango. Yep. You've got, it also has, if I recall correctly, there's a little silver switch back here. Yeah, it should have some gain control. Yeah, I think that's that. gain control. Yep. So uh, for, for doing really high quality recording, audio recording on your iOS devices. Very cool. Very cool. Look forward to trying that out. Well, thank you. Okay, we, we got the more? wrap up. No. All right, we're going to go. We'll, we'll, we'll oh, come, back, we come back to more unboxings in a bit. And then when we come back from break, we're going to have robots. Is it going to be robot time? It is. Ugh. Yay. Be live. I'm Callie Lewis. Oh, and I'm John P. See, I was trying to really say it fast so that you didn't try and then come I'm in. I'm not really and then excited because it's robot it time, so you might as well. I get am this very thing excited. Going. We've got robots on the show, as always. Because you don't have enough robots in the geek house, right? I know. So we will definitely have some robot wars going in here because we have the CEA bots, the telepresence robots, that our our staff joins us on a daily basis. And they've basis. been using them. They have been using them. They're roaming their little robots around the whole Geek House. You guys can see that on geek, geeky.tv slash dropcam. They're roaming their little robots around. <laughs> nice. Um, and then we also have the iRobots, yep. the vacuum cleaner, and the floor scrubber, and the mopper. And the luge. And the luge gutter cleaner. I can't wait to give that one a try. Yeah. Anyway, so no way I don't have enough robots. I need more. Okay. Are Dysons considered robots? Are vacuum cleaners No, they're considered? not robots. Fine. Anyway, what about robots that can see through walls? How like about Superman? That? Actually, so this is a project from Dr. Uh, Yasmin Motsofi at uh, UC Santa Barbara. And... She's created these robots that use an algorithm. You can see that working here. So there's a wall here. So these robots work with Wi-Fi, right? What are they doing over there? Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, um, there's some stuff happening on the side wall. Distractions offset. Um, so the robots use Wi-Fi to talk to each other, to see each other and to work together in a team, okay. uh, right? But when you go behind walls, well, the Wi-Fi signal gets bounced and gets all strange and they can't read each other. Well, they have created this algorithm that, um, re the, that basically allows the robots to deduce the location and the shape of objects um, be by listening or paying attention to the Wi-Fi signal. So uh -huh. when you hit a wall, the Wi-Fi signal bounces or it decreases, right? Uh -huh. And so they use that and then they basically back it, you know, like they they figure out they have some how how the artificial weak, intelligence. weak the they have figure out how weak it is so they know exactly where the obstructions are and then can talk to okay. the Wi-Fi. So they kind of build a map using like it's like uh, like the way a bat sees, like echolocation almost pretty with Wi Fi. Pretty much, right. So this is new, and they expect to be able to use this in archaeology, maybe even search and rescue huh. situations. So that could be very, very useful for people who are, um, like, if you a building falls down on you or anything like that, they can bring in these robots and take care of you. Okay. Awesome. I love robots that help out. Yes, those are good. By the way, we're going to, so that just reminded me, we haven't told anybody about this yet, but... We have a cool mapping project. Are we going to talk the... about that? No, we're not. Oh. I'm just, it's just a teaser. I'm just letting teaser. you guys know we have a cool mapping project that is going to occur here at the Geek House. We'll tell you about it later, but not yet. I'm it just made me so think of that. excited by it. It's going to be crazy. All right. What else so, you got? another one. Take a look at this poor little robot. Poor little robot. This poor little robot. He's a hexapod. 
And oh my God, he has a broken leg. What What did you do to him? He has a broken leg, but you know what? That's okay because uh, Antoine Coley and Jean-Baptiste Moray from Paris's Sorbonne University uh -huh. and uh, University of Wyoming, they got together and they created an algorithm that allows robots to figure out how to re-walk, like they learn how to walk, just like a human would if they break their leg. Don't say anything, John P. But they can figure out uh -huh. how to uh, walk again and accommodate for that broken leg. So you see him that trying different- That way, when they different... come and they attack us and we <laughs> manage to you know, shoot off one of their legs, right. it doesn't stop them. So this is only like, oh wait, keep going, oh. We were gonna get to the good part. That was it. Well, okay. So anyway, if you watch the What's video, geekbeat.tv slash live That little thing crawls up a human and snaps its head off? No, it just figures out how to walk in a straight line. Like you, you were seeing him like try and, uh -huh. he, he kept turning, right? Because he wasn't getting the right algorithm. Well, once he does, he goes in a straight line. I see. Awesome. I see. Uh, they have uh, 13,000 different uh, options for uh, going how through they can to how, limp along. how they can limp. Yep. I see. All right, what you got? I've got better stuff than you do because it's planes, trains, and automobiles time. You always think that. And it's always true, <laughs> unfortunately. But today is especially true because when was the last time you saw dancing tanks? Never, but now you're going to see it. Check this out. Uh, there's a new sport. That's a new sport, <laughs> the, huh? The tank. There's a tank biathlon in oh. Russian and well, former of there is. in the former USSR, and the 2014 opening ceremony featured T-80 battle tanks doing the waltz. Okay. Dave, do you have video of this? Hang on just a sec. I gotta call up their website. We are not and prepared. Pause. This is the point at which the show gets edited for live broadcast. <laughs> Kat said, I need a shirt. Uh, did Dave not even buy you clothing, Kat? I mean... <laughs> I hear the, I hear the you hear uh, tank in my ear. Here it comes. All right, check this out now. The tanks are doing a waltz. Uh, I, it doesn't look like a He's just moving out of, uh, just give him a second, okay? Now, he's, he's getting in position. Uh -huh. And here comes his dance partner. Uh, I think you're making stuff up. They're no, just wait. going No, just in. wait. He's gonna run into him. No, he's not. Okay, I didn't say they were great dancers, <laughs> but they're dancing nonetheless. Look at this. They're like spinning around and like holding hands and stuff like I that. I hear you dance. Huh? I hear you dance. Don't you dance, John? I do the Humpty dance. <laughs> oh. All right. And then they're gonna and bring then they a, get third a third and a fourth. Uh, did... Guess what? What? You can go to geekbeat.tv forward slash live 143 three. and watch the whole video. All right. Have it's fun with that. Tanks. It's dancing tanks. What do you want tanks. me to say? In sync. What's that, um, what's that uh, like uh, synchronization dancing? What's that called? Uh, synchronized swimming? Yes. Only it's synchronized tanking. Exactly. Yeah. Tanks a lot. All right. Anyway, now, moving right along, if tanks are, you know, maybe are a little heavy duty for what you have going on, you might be needy, in need of something a little more, I don't know, uh, yeah, post-apocalyptic is a good word. And uh, so then you might be wanting, you might be in the market for a survival bike. Uh, does this make sure that in the zombie apocalypse that I can survive? Pretty much, yes. This is the new... A uh, motorized survival bike. It's the Black Ops Edition. Mm -hmm. It's from, uh, I forgot who makes this thing. It looks like a bike, uh, but a little bit, I don't know. It, what, this what's This bike has a motor. It has a space for tools, knives, shovel, fuel tanks. Wait, where's the shovel go? Saw, climbing gear. What? A tomahawk 
axe. What? A harpoon. Let's see all this stuff in it. And a crossbow. There's a crossbow on the back. What? Well, you can see the gas tank right there hanging off the side on the back. There's right. a crossbow on the top on the back. Where's the shovel? There's a mount for your GPS or your phone. Not that either one of them is going to work when the whole pl planet goes to of hell in a handbasket. But you might have some music on there that you want to listen to. And it's powered by a four-stroke gas motor. Of course it is. But, but it's a bike. I still don't see the shovel. Well, it's on the other side of the axe. It, yeah, you know, it's right there. I mean, come on, just look at it. Now, here's the good news. The good news is, I don't know, it's awesome. The bad news is, just the frame alone, there, you see the axe? There's the uh, shovel right there, a shovel and an axe right there. And the rope, there's a rope underneath it too while you're at it. Okay, well you know, uh, definitely gas, need a rope. gas tank, yeah. there's your motor, there's another gas, there's a fuel tank there. Anyway, this thing gets like 100 miles to the gallon. Yeah. And you can still pedal it. Apollo is asking a very good question in the chat room. What was the question? What if the zombies also have these bikes? And that could become a problem. Then I'll fix the bike. That It'll could work, go fast. that could work. <laughs> well, uh, I don't want you touching anything and fixing anything that we have in these boxes over here. Because first we got to unbox them, so then you can fix them later. Do we do it right now? Uh, we're going to come back from commercial break. We'll be right back. Oh. After these messages, we'll be right back. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Geeky Live. That was your line. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to Geeky Line. That was your line. Oh, what is this, the mirroring effect? I don't know. It's, we're nearing the end of our comeback show. I don't We just have I, one I more segment of unboxing. I think we need to have a new comeback show where we actually do it right. Yeah, you've only yawned once today. No, I've yawned many, many oh, times. Oh, have you? I only caught you many once, times. but I guess everybody else Gigi has. Gigi is uh, doing uh, yeah. uh, lifts with the, uh, yeah, she's the boxes getting her, over here. She's doing her curls. She's getting those big muscles. Nice. Show us your muscles, Gigi. You got big muscles? Like, do this. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's All right, do some give unboxings. Give us a box. Here we go. Oh, this one's gonna need a little uh, bit. A little of bit of unboxing. knife action. Oh no, no it's, it's already not. been pre-sliced. Awesome. Somebody pre-sliced it. What have we got here? What have we here? Oh, we saw these at CE Week. Oh. And I was excited by these. The neat. note. It's neat. N e e t e t. The um, no tangle sleeve. You actually um, take these. Let me pull one out. Hey, there's different lengths. Three yes. feet, two feet. So how awesome is this? Look at this. All right, so you've got a cable in here, right? You've yep. got a lightning cable. Yep. And normally if you want to put it in a sleeve like this, you have to fish it through and you're like doing this whole scrunching yeah, forget thing. It. This one has a zipper. Oh, that is pretty cool. Voila, you just put it in and then you zip it closed so you don't have to do all the scrunching thing. Nice. I love these things. That is pretty cool. I did not see they this before. You didn't? I oh, that's I, right. Michael Artsis and I were talking to these guys. Oh. And uh, we had them send us a bunch. So we now can put get, these to use in the studio. That's right. Now you can get your colored sleeves and stuff. Yeah, you have different sizes, different colors. Red, gray, awesome. blue, brown. <laughs> Don't we all? You want one? <laughs> they are cool. Okay, get us another box. Okay. Miss Helper. Move them over. Thank you. Ah, there we go. What do we have here? Uh oh. Oh. That's kind of cool looking. I like the box nice. already. It's boom a boombotics. Boombotics. Yes. It's a boombot Rex. Ooh. Oh, boombot boom Rex. Boombotics is the company, I guess, and this is the boombot. This Rex. was a Kickstarter project last year, and uh, it looks like they're shipping now. Wow, it's pretty cool looking. It's. It's water resistant, drop tested. Oh, I get my finger out of the way. Full range stereo and bass woofer. Integrated microphone and remote mic functionality. Bluetooth playback and microphone control. Built in speakerphone and voice assistant. Nice. Eight hour runtime. Rechargeable all day battery. Nice. No matter what, one year warranty. I swear. No can you, matter what. Can you, Let's can you pull see it out. that? It says no matter what, one year warranty. I have never seen that before. Oh, look at that. It's a good looking speaker. Is this Geek House Orange? Yeah, it Geek is. Beat it is orange? Geek House Orange. Geek Beat Geek House Orange? Oh, nice. it has a clip. Oh, no. John loves his clip. It has a clip. I can wear this on my belt. Uh, 
<laughs> oh my God! Uh -oh. I am going to have fun You're with sold. that. That He's gonna is be walking awesome. around here with I'm awesome going On all the boat. time. And look, it comes with purple nice. accessories. Very cool. Can I see? <laughs> oh, cool. So all a right. USB cable and this other one. Oh my god, I'm going to wear this around the geek house. I am sure and you play. will. First, I'm on a boat, awesome. and then country music. And then country music, Get a little music, I'm awesome yeah. in there from Spos. Yeah. That was really cool. How much Very is this, cool. folks? Oh, Paul Dixon already anticipated. Already got it. 89 on, on Amazon. Nice. I, I will let you guys know how awesome it is. But they said it's drop tested and waterproof? Yeah. Well, water resistant. Water resistant. I mean, nobody ever says waterproof. But if I was going to wear this like out thing. while yeah. working in the garage or out in the yard or something like that, and yeah. you know, I get all sweaty and dirty and nasty, exactly. and it's just just clipped onto my belt like that. Yeah, I think that'll be really good for you. Yeah. But I guess I lost out on that one. What else do we uh -huh. have? Maybe I can steal. All right. I think you're gonna like that. It's pink. Got did you just did you just say I would like this because it's pink? Callie's uh -oh. not really big into pink. That was a mistake, Gigi. <laughs> what is it? Uh, this is the iBabby HD 360. Oh, cool. The Amarillo. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, this is right. Oh, yeah. This is like a baby monitor thing, right? Plugged into Look. Skype. Look oh, at this. This is, Woo. and this is a remote, if I recall correctly, first of all, it's 720p video. It has 360 degree kind of viewing and it's remote pan look. and tilt controllable. Yeah, okay. look at this. The, the camera is yes. tilting you up and down. You do all that remotely. Yes. So it doesn't go side to side. Like if you have but a baby, you know, if you have a baby in a room, you set this thing up. It's got, let's see, what does it have on it? You've got a power uh, through a micro USB and you've got an SD, micro SD card so you can save you yeah. can save the images here locally right. to it, okay? Uh, and then it's got, it's Wi-Fi. This is free cloud service, so that's they're right. not going to charge you extra for yeah, you the storage. That's right. You set it up, and then you remotely control. Very cool. Yeah, maybe what we'll do is set it up like in the Geek House no. studio. and Abby Cam. Try, you could, you could, you could make it an Abby Cam. Yes, David Foster's dog, Abby, the Chihuahua. All right. And it says plugged into Skype because yeah, if I recall correctly, you can even use it like it was a Skype kind of conference Oh, uh, and talk uh, back thing. and stuff, That's yeah. Right. yeah. Awesome. We're going to definitely check that one out. That looks pretty awesome. All right. Hand us another one. And that one's that perfect. That looks good to me. John, this one's yours. This one's mine? Yeah. I opened the last this, one. Okay, let's see. One of these days, I'm going to reach into one of these bags and something's going to like bite me. Right. <laughs> what do we have here? A blue, this is the Bluetooth uh, blue, blue driver. Blue. Oh, this is a wireless vehicle sensor. monitor. Oh, yeah. This is uh, made for iPhone. For iPhone, or iPhone Android. Uh, yeah, Android. And let me see here. I can't remember exactly what this is, but I have a feeling I know. Let me just verify. Yes. So this is a little device that plugs into the OBDC port uh -huh. on your car. And then what it does is you download the app, I guess, visit us at bluedriver.net. Yeah, it's just the OBD. Yeah, OBD, well, OBD, OBD2, two, two, whatever. Um, you, <laughs> you plug it in and then you connect to it with the app and then you can see all the the system information. You can diagnose troubleshooting codes yeah. on your car, figure out what you need to do to fix it. Exactly. And it may even have like an engine monitor and stuff like that. I don't know. Some of these will like Some show of them you. do. Some anyway. of them are pretty sophisticated. Yeah. Bluedriver.net. You guys check it out. I'm awesome. not sure how much this is or if it's actually available. Does, is it a sonic screwdriver as well? <laughs> Bring it, GG. Damn. What do we got? How heavy was it? That was that one heavy? Was that heavy? Not really, okay. Ah, oh, what Throw do we have away here? The bubble wrap. The wiki uh -oh. pad. Oh, we're in trouble now. The wiki pad. This is the wiki pad powered by NVIDIA. This That's is a, a nice, nice box. box. Yeah. <gasps> did you notice this is the soft touch? I did. The black it's soft very touchy nice. stuff. 
So this is the Wikipad. It is a little tablet. Yes, it is a gaming tablet. It is, is the Wikipad tablet, and there's a game controller. Oh, yeah. inside here. Yeah, I was like, where's the other part? Here we go. Keep it going. There Keep, we oh, go. there we go. Look so at that. So you slap that in there, and now why would you mess around with some wimpy little uh, video game in your phone when you've got this bad boy? with the triggers and the buttons uh -huh. and the knobs everywhere. Exactly. It, I believe it's actually, I, I'm not sure if it's made by NVIDIA or if it's, uh, somebody help me out here, is it made by NVIDIA or is it uh, just No, it's just powered NVIDIA? by NVIDIA. Yeah, that's it's what not I made thought. By. The Wikipad. Very, very cool. This you is know what? Quite, and it's lightweight, so it's not going to add a whole lot of uh, weight to, to your uh, system, to your plane. You know, we're going to this feels uh, good. Houston for the weekend. Oh, no. Guess you know what? what that, you're supposed to spend time with your nieces. This is how I get uh, away from... Oh, this is actually, you know, your nieces will want to play no, with it. The, the nieces will have to stay away <laughs> uh, because I'm going to have to figure out how to kill some zombies on this bad boy. Right. Uh, so we're gonna play with the wiki pad. That will be his excuse for getting away from his family. One ninety nine, Richard says. <laughs> Digital Phil says that's pretty awesome. Yeah, what I think is cool about it is it is a tablet. Okay, so if you just want to yes, use it you can as just a use nice tablet. little tablet, you got a tablet. I'm not sure what skin they're using or anything like that, but it's got to be just Android. It's just a nice little tablet. Okay, yep. it's a little Android tablet. And actually it feels good. It's rubberized mm -hmm. and it has a little ridge here on the back. Can you guys see that ridge? Yeah. Makes it easy to hold with it's your gonna, fingers. Yep. So that's good. It's a good sized tablet. But then it gets really special when, you... when we slap it in there and we go to town. Mm. I'm going to have to get some good games. Oh, brother. Uh, what do you mean, Ben? This is what happens when you leave a review unit at the Geek House. Were you supposed to pick this one up? Yeah, probably. He probably Oh, this was, was for him? To... Oops. Oh, look at that. Shadow Gun Dead Zone. Oh, you already have some stuff on there, huh? Apparently. Nice. Loading, please wait. So you, you can finish the, the unboxing. Okay. While I just All right. Hand it over, Gigi. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You yes. call dibs, do she, you? I think her father taught her a thing or two. Uh, yes, he did. Let me put this back. Dibs. All right. What? Oh. You remember. Oh, my gosh. This thing is heavy. This is the new version of the uh, Aegis Padlock. Remember oh, that? Oh, wow. Remember that hard drive? Yes. That this, you secure. This is the desktop desktop drive version, right? We have the SSD version. Yes. Which unfortunately, it's my bad. I'm sorry, guys. I've not published the review right. on that yet. But we have been torturing that thing. Well, this thing is and heavy, dude. It works. Look at this. Okay. This, I guess, is the big, full size hard drive version. Wow. That you can like drive a car over this thing. This thing is massive. Look at this. So, so it comes with a power a, plug. It comes power with here, USB 3.0 3. here and power switch. And then you've got the, the buttons right here yep. with the LED display. So here's the thing. I, I, I didn't get, again, I, I'm sorry, I haven't gotten around to publishing the results yet. But what happens with the SSD version, I'm, I'm sure this is the same thing, is first you yeah. go through and you assign it a passcode. Right. A, you go, a number. And what happens is then, when you plug this into your drive, uh, it doesn't just show up as a drive. You have to enter the passcode. Until you enter the passcode. Then as soon as you enter the passcode, bam, it shows up as a drive. But it also times out after a while for security reasons. So it doesn't just, like once you do it, it's just on all the yeah. time. It will turn itself off. 189 for a in. terabyte, 229 for two terabytes. Yeah, so if you're looking for a really um, serious encryption yep. uh, that you know you don't want people to be looking at your stuff when you walk away from your desk. That is the way to do it. I don't know of any better way to do it. Awesome. The I'm, I'm gathering up all of these padlock. stuff here. That's right. What, what else we got happen? here? Uh, the other two are heavy. Okay. Okay. We this is from us. our friends at Thank FedEx. Uh, yeah, FedEx is sending us stuff all the time. Yeah, they are. They're very generous. <laughs> um, Let's see, what do we have here? <gasps> Yay! 
Yay. Okay, I'm what actually, is this? I'm very intrigued by these. Um, these are Guardian Angel outlets. Okay, okay so what is the that? idea behind these is this is an outlet, it's a regular outlet, right? You put it on, um, you replace your outlets with it, and this actually has a sensor. So as your kid walks by and starts fiddling around with the outlets, it automatically shuts the power off. How does it know it's a kid and not me? Well, anybody. <laughs> it's just like anybody. Oh, so okay. If you if you come by it and in, in the zone, it'll shut the power off. So you're not, you know, messing with things and your kid doesn't get shocked. So instead of those little things that you put in the plugs and you can never get out as an adult, yeah. Then this is another I hate those. another option. Okay, so this is the kind of thing that let's say if I plugged a lamp or I plug something into it, it'll work. Yes. But then when you come over to Right within near, it, like, yeah. Like it's not right. like if you walk by it. Okay, but, but if, like if, like... I, if I start sticking my hands towards it, it shuts off the power. Correct. To keep uh, kids from shoving little nickels in there. and right. Not that I would know anything about uh, that. You, like you shoving certainly things, didn't do that as a shoving kid, Shoving things sure into of it. electrical outlets and getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know anything about that. that. So we're, I'm going to try these out and see how cool. those work. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, we should probably Shock use uh, we should use some of those around here because some we have to keep uh, like you... uh, David Foster away. Yeah, it's uh, David. Uh -huh. It's uh, David, right. Okay, let's see. We have two more boxes. Oh, this, no, that's one, not this the... is just for fun. Oh, okay. Well, this we already showed for... those off. No. Oh. We showed this off. We told <laughs> okay. you guys that the uh, Hutu this is the Tripmate Nano. This is the little routers that we're sitting. Yeah. You know what? What the heck? I'm going to show them what it looks like. All right, I'm going to open one. Oh, we can give David that one. I'm going to open one, and I'm going to show. I'm going to show you guys how small this is. These were the routers. These are the routers that we ordered for our top patrons in their care packages. We have. Per I personally have tested this. You're going to be amazed at how cool this thing is. Yep. But I want you to see how small this is. It. This is the travel router. How awesome is that? Look, compare it to like a my watch. Compare it to my watch. Your Galaxy Gear. The Galaxy Gear. Okay, that's how small it is. On one side, it has a Ethernet connection. It has a micro USB connection, and on the other side, it has a USB port. And you could plug in like a USB. Uh, Dongle, a little USB card, you know, yeah. and you can stream Watch media it. from it. It will create a Wi-Fi hotspot off of an Ethernet network, etc. And it weighs like nothing. Feel it. Oh wow, that is super light. Can you put in a USB LTE card? I don't think that this um, one allows yeah. you to do that, but I'm not sure. It might. I'll have to read the manual. But um, what what this is going to be really good for is if you're traveling. And you go to a hotel room or something, right. and they don't have Wi-Fi, or their Wi-Fi sucks, but they have a, a an Ethernet you plug. You just plug the Ethernet into there, and then use that on all your devices as the hotspot, and you're good to go. That way you don't have to pay for additional charges for all your different devices, because some hotels like do it per device. Yeah, well, the other thing, too, I would point out is I have now adopted the habit of always using my own hotspot and never using a hotel hotspot for one very good reason. What's that? If you travel a lot and you have to go to different hotels all the time, every hotspot has it's a different. different SSID, a different password, all this stuff, and right? And then your Wi-Fi connections go, get you have to, bogged yeah, down. Yeah, you get like a hundred lists. Yeah. That you got to go clean out all your old Wi-Fis, okay? But if you take one of these with you, yep. it's already configured with your hotspot name, your password. All you do is plug it into Ethernet. You turn on your laptop, your phone, your tablet, you know, all the stuff. And then everything and is connect automatically, automatically connected, yeah. Why would you not do that? Exactly. You will do it. See, Kat says brilliant. <laughs> That's right. And so we are sending these to all the patrons at the $50 and up yep. level in their care packages. Thanks to you guys uh, for To make your uh, life easier as well. Us. Yep. Now, the reason why we went through all that was because I wanted to show you what it looks like when you, when buy you order them. When you buy 100 of them? Buy in boxes of 100 at a time. So. We've never done that before. There's okay? a whole other section There's down two there. layers. Two layers of, of Hutus. Just router after router. <laughs> 
That yeah. was awesome. Very cool. I just thought it was awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll we have that. one more box. Down here. And I'm starting to lose my voice again. Yay. Uh, yay. All right. Dave is excited. He doesn't have to listen to me anymore. <laughs> okay. We have one more big box. Oh, David, this is for you. Come on out. Is this for David? Oh, my God. Where is David? <laughs> Mr. Foster. <laughs> Scott's now. Scott's about Hang to on, take it. Hang on, let me it. just turn it over. I'm just going to turn it over. But Scott doesn't sing, does he? He just plays. Yeah. All right. No, Scott used to sing. Oh, I don't know Scott if he does sings? anymore. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a, there's oh, a party oh, time karaoke. My, this is actually a karaoke machine? Yeah. Well, I guess the Geek House just got a karaoke machine because <laughs> this is called the Singing Machine Classic. It uses an iPad? Yeah. Ah, David, I told you this is for you. Come on. It <laughs> uses an it. iPad. It connects to a TV. Yep. It says Bluetooth. Wirely streams music from any Bluetooth compatible device. Plays MP3 plus G, CD plus G karaoke. So is there an after live party tonight? <laughs> karaoke party? <laughs> Includes your five mic. song nice. downloads. You sing, Scott? A little bit? Oh, both of you can test it. I'm certainly not testing I will not do karaoke. Oh, Abby the Chihuahua came in the studio. Is she in here? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So, uh, David, I uh, said yes when uh, they asked if we wanted this for you. So, so he you will be giving a concert. A concert. Uh-huh. A karaoke <laughs> nice. concert. And look, you got a uh, party... Do they, does it have the humpy dance? Let me CD. See what songs. Roar by Katy Perry. Blurred Lines. Wrecking Ball. Oh, you're gonna wrecking do Wrecking Ball? ball? I'm doing that one. <laughs> oh my God. Radioactive Imagine Dragons. Nice. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ball, don't you? We could swing from this the is... side wall. That would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> it's kind of no. cool looking. <laughs> Uh, this is fancy. Look at that. It has all sorts of knobs and stuff. What do we have over there? Yeah, volume button here. Microphone. What? There's two microphones. Two nice. microphones? Two duets. microphone inputs. Well, I hear a duet. So we had to have to uh, just get a different echo. microphone? Oh, yeah. God. It's got an echo. It's got an echo dot. Nice. nice. Minimum and maximum echo. Uh, for like state or uh, church or stadium. Uh-huh, I guess. Hey, Hawkman oh, can come volume. down and do his Al Green renditions. Absolutely. Look, there's master volume and then there's microphone volume. So you can balance the, the audio, I guess. No auto tune, I don't, I don't think. think. <laughs> Power on and off. He doesn't need auto tune. I uh, need auto tune. And right. see, on the back, it's got the audio and video out. So that's how we plug it into a nice. monitor. So you can do full on karaoke. Oh, wait a minute. Through the kefs? Oh, oh my God. Through the kefs? Come on. It's possible. <laughs> Anything's possible, I guess. Anything is possible. Uh, what would be uh, funny is yeah. if we put it on the 135 inch uh, screen with the calves beside it. Oh man. We just need a spotlight. <laughs> we don't have a spotlight yet. All right, I'm gonna go play. All right, here, take the box. That, that's your review unit. <laughs> yeah, oh, and this came out of it too. I don't know what it is. It's a clip of some sort. Uh, looks um, like maybe to put the mic. No, that's not maybe an iPhone or something. I don't know. Maybe like an iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it looks like. All right. Come on. All right. Well, you know what? That was not even all of the unboxings, but we'll do the uh, others wow. later. Are we still not done? Well, we're done over here, but there's a whole stack of stuff over there. Oh. But we just don't have time. We don't have time. We you... do not have time. It's almost five o'clock. Wow. Wow. We've got to yeah, get see busy. all those boxes. Look at all those boxes. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Make sure you follow him. He's got some pretty awesome and funky stuff on his Google Plus profile. I'm not sure about that. I mean, Google.com slash plus John B. She is Callie Lewis. Just go to, just type Callie Lewis. It's going to get you there. Or you can go to Google.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis. You can go to Twitter.com forward slash Callie Lewis. You can go to Facebook.com forward slash Callie Lewis. That's pretty much everywhere. Anyway. John Pose. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.